Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking time out for yourself. You know, a lot of times we have to be focused on things that we truly need to, you know, add towards our lives, you know, to make us stay at our positive frequency because i know it's hard at times when we got so much going on and it's just like it's so hard to be able to see positive you know positive forefront you know positive blessings that's coming towards us when we're dealing with crazy chaos during our daily you know during our daily missions so um just for you to be able to you know try to think positive hey whatever helps you stay in a happy place do it <laughs> so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me that um drop me a line or two i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gets how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you um feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or a friend or even a fellow empath they're going through some trying times that need spiritual guidance or need confirmation or validation towards the life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share in your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support you know, it's so greatly appreciated, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, I got this peaceful music in the background, so if you feel you're at, like, a zen mode, is like, really strong. It's called 432 Hertz Quiet Meditation Music for Deep Silence. Relax the positive energy and boost your aura. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And my video today is uh, Twin Flame 101. Kayoka is knowing there is a blessing through times of despair. It is so true. You know, it's all about how the perception, how you look at things, how where you placing the perspective at. Are you looking at it from a positive, you know, mindset? Or are you all up in your feelings? Because we can be all up in our feelings trying to say something. Because it could be like um, you're looking, you know, you you might be looking at a you know a mirror number or whatever. Because me, if I notice that if I look down or whatever. And it's like 844 or something like that. Or you're, you know, and there's things saying, you know, hey, you got blessings coming your way. You just have to have faith and you have to have trust, which is true. But a lot of times when we're in our feelings about certain things that are going on, and you're like, God, I'm really trying to be in that positive mindset. But there are so many things cr crazy that's placing in our lives. And it's just like, that's the reason why it's there. Because a lot of times when we pray, you know for patience we pray for having faith a lot of times we'll be per put in certain situations where all you have to do is rely on your strength all you can do is rely on you know uh your faith within yourself as well as in the universe because you can't go off thinking you know you know you keep telling me this but all this crazy stuff keeps going around me or whatever you know you have that's when you have to stay focused that's when you know your test your your faith is being tested and a lot of times I had, you know, it, it took me a long time to think about that, um, going through it or whatever. Y'all been on this crazy, like, fruit kick lately. Like, I eat regular food, but it's like, you know, regular food, like, you know, starches <laughs> and meats and stuff like that. But I'm really trying to convert into a lot of fruit during my day. You know, if I feel like I need to go ahead and get me a little pick-me-up. I've been eating my exit, uh, cute me in on, like, yellow yellow um melon watermelon i've never heard of yellow watermelon in my life but it tastes so so good it's even better than water regular watermelon you almost got sick in my throat <laughs> regular uh watermelon it is so good and i've noticed that my energy is starting to pick up a lot you know since i've been eating a lot of been eating a lot of peaches and i've been eating a lot of my watermelon who is really big and they cut it up into pieces and i've been eating it like three four times a day and my energy is totally shifted a lot like towards the end of the night i get wiped out but that's a good thing so we can go to sleep so but yeah a lot of things has been coming off in our lives that you know we really have to look at it 
positive perspective because if there are certain things and I told y'all this before if you've been with me for a while at a, a video that was talking about you know how the universe will put a fire up under your ass <laughs> which is true you know for you to be you know trying to find the good things to be able to pursue yourself on because a lot of times we put focus in the wrong things but we know we should be doing something to better our lives he will put so much corruption and like the things where you know are investing our time and even with the people they know truly that you know we need to be able to distance ourselves from there's a lot of things that happens that way you know and it, i mean it's just like my tragedy has really changed me a lot you know um being able to not hold grudges against people be able to have faith in myself even when i really don't quite understand it but i know it's like a lot of things that i was just like huh about you know on certain things it, it became really clear but it's just like that was for like the purpose of the lunar eclipse a lot of things will start becoming clearer because it's like if you're so focused on negative it's going to cloud your judgment it's going to cloud uh the focus that you're tr trying to have on something positive coming towards your life so you have to be able to deal with that you know having that you know attitude of gratitude on things that has come into your life because it allows you to see that power within yourself you know allow you to see what's coming towards you even when you don't believe it because it can be a surreal situation you know um that things are going to become better in your life that you really need to stay focused on because there's so many things that happen in our life you know and it has to happen in that tragic way for you to be able to say you know what this is not for me because if it is for me it wouldn't be so damn stressful on dealing with let me go ahead and stay focused on the stuff that i'm trying to go through because you know you can be when i tell y'all when you pray for something god will put you in a predicament for you to be able to get what you want you know like if you're asking for faith there'll be situations he will place you in where you all you can do is rely on your faith and faith alone faith in the universe faith in god that better days are coming for you when you have no patience at all god will make you be in a certain situation where you have no choice but to be patient for him to be able to have that overturn in your life but it's just up to you what are you going to be able to stay focused on what are you are you going to keep going through your mind that painful scenario got you stuck there in the first place that ain't gonna do nothing except keep you in there and that same scenario that you try so desperately to get out of you know don't allow the people you know if it has to do with relationships with people even if it have something to do with a spouse a significant other or um well well it can be a boyfriend or a girlfriend significant other or it can be with family members you got to constantly deal with and there's things that you're trying to go further yourself in and it, you know people keep coming at you because that that is just god urging you to say you know what you're going to do what's meant for you or you're going to keep dealing with these other folks and allow them to dictate your life and it was just like with me my situation i had people alter my life you know i had people um you know trying to make my life what they wanted to see fit because they didn't want to see me you know become anything you know they wanted me to be that person you know it's just like when i look at my situation with with my mom's ex-husband and his his wife and her family all of them are successful me and my situation i look like oh she don't want to do nothing she don't want to be like that you know they were very encouraging to her family very encouraging to you know her children but it was just like when they when i used to actually be around them and tolerate them <laughs> for a certain minute they were like oh yeah you know uncle such and such you know he was you know he was very supportive because there'll be a certain nickname they would name my mom's ex-husband and i'm like why do you call him that you know and it was like oh because he's very supportive you know they're at my games and stuff like that and i'm looking all sideways they're like why are you looking like that i said oh because i don't know that part of him I'm glad somebody do that's a blessing he can be supportive to somebody but i ain't never felt that you know when i did it was like when i was you know really young and he'll get mad oh there you go again being a spoiled brat i was there for you i said no you pick and choose the times you want to be there just for somebody else to be able to say you know hey as soon as i said that my dad gonna phone lit up <laughs> you know it was just certain things he would do when it was just for him to basically say oh i was there but now it's like when i look at my situations i'm very blessed you know i did not have him around me like that because if i did i would have been more jacked up than i am now so it's just like all these different 
experiences, even though it might be hurtful, it was more of a blessing than it was a curse. But it's all about how you look at it, how you go about healing yourself about certain things. Because a lot of times, even during tragedies, we have to be able to see what is this this situation trying to see me uh, show me. What is the the blessing was subliminal you know you have to be able to look just like me i'm a movie person there are certain things that god and the universe will say okay well we're trying to tell her but she ain't gonna make it make sense out of what we're trying to tell her unless we show it to her through a movie or something or through a song that we're trying to get her to listen to because i always look for the subliminal messages and movies that i watch and it's just really crazy but it, it's just like you know, like I was telling y'all, I was watching Annabelle the other day. If that messed it towards the end of it, if that didn't make me think about my situation, you know, and why those things had to occur in that movie like that. And I mean, I was in tears because I can totally relate to the certain things that was towards the end, you know, when it deals with my situation. So I was just like, wow. My daughter was like, are you okay? And as soon as I said that, I got them chills. You know, you have to be able to believe in a lot of things, you know, even though you, it might be... You know a lot of things when it comes to us some people don't believe in you know the afterlife or some people don't believe in stuff like that they're very skeptical and then until they're put in a certain situation because it's with me I've sat back and seen the situations I was placed in to where I you know interact with some people and there's no way of me knowing your personal background like that unless you put it out but I'm just now meeting you and I'm able to tell you about your life you know with, with your family or certain things they they know I would have no other way of knowing so it's just a beautiful blessing that I had to be able to go through all those things to be able to know you know what why things had to be the way they are and it's just like being able to do that has brought me a lot of knowledge towards myself you know lessons and blessings things come out during these devil moon phases to have you like oh okay this is the reason why and you cry that grief you know, because it took you a long time to understand why things had to happen the way they had to happen in your life. And it's just like some of us don't believe that because we're, we're still in that anger mode. We're still in that confusion mode that you're not, you know, two and two ain't equal and four to you. You know, it probably, you know, equals like about 13, 15 or something like that. You know, things like that. So it's just like you have to understand it's like uh, blessings do come in those times of despair because it allows you to see things for what they truly are and being able to know these are the things that had to happen for me to be able to understand who I am. You know, and that's the reason why I guess the way I'm looking at it, that's the reason why we have like spiritual awakenings, you know, for us to have to go through that, gr that big tragedy to make everything in your life that you have went through for years to make sense of what occurred to your life that brought you into that spiritual awakening in the first place. I keep getting chills like crazy. But, like I said, you know, it's just really crazy right now. But, you know, allow yourself to be able to sit with yourself. It's like sit with oneself. You know, and being able to pay attention to the things that has happened around you. Pay attention to the things that really impacted your life, whether it was negative or, you know, positive really understand the background of why they why it was the way it was for you so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video much love to you i hope everybody has a blessed week you know this week is almost over it's wednesday it's hump day so you make sure you have a good day you know without the lunar eclipse you know i hope it really brought you some blessings and clarity that you truly need to have for yourself my post notification shot out goes to let me see Dizel and Jay Cartwright much love to you and I will see you on my next video like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop the line I would love a chance to get to know you or you're just letting me know if you totally resonate with this you surely need to hear it because I really feel like there are some people that needed to hear that on why things are the way they are for them so, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know your kind words can take somebody a long way. And know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there, you know, praying for your better days. At least I do. I hope and pray that, you know, things come to the forefront for you. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.